Hey guys, it's Codexual here. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple things. Um, first thing is how to set up a static IP instead of a DHCP, which is dynamic, which every time you change your computer, um, your internal IP address might always change. Secondly, how to port forward. So these two come in hand in hand. Let me explain a little bit about it. So every time that you might reset your computer, um, let's say your IP address is this, which is mine currently. Um, and if you reset your computer, it might pull something else. Point fifty six. It might it might change to that every time you reset, but that means every time the IP address changes you're always going to have to update the ports to that IP address. So what I'm going to show you is how to have a static IP, which will always remain the same. So you don't always have to update the, the ports with the new IP address. That's what a, st a static IP address is. So to begin with, what you're going to do is open up command prompt. And the next thing after that is you're going to type in IP config, hit enter. So, um, if you're on the Wi-Fi, let me talk a little bit about Wi-Fi. Um, first off, you suck. No, I'm just joking. I just hate Wi-Fi. Um, as for Wi-Fi, if you're always out and about with that specific computer, um, going to a friend's, their, um, their router of they might not have the same IP settings or the DHCP settings. So you might have a little bit of problems, but I'll show you how to fix that. Um, it's going to be more of a nuisance for you, but I'm on a LAN cable. But anyhow, so on the Ethernet um, adapter, uh, that's what I'm currently on, as I just stated, my IPv4 address, the subnet, and the default gateway. This is what we're worried about, these three. And I'll also say what... The, adapter that you're on as well. Um, we want to open up our network and sharing center. I'm going to change our adapter. We're going to go to the Ethernet properties. Then you're going to go to your um, IPv4, which is the Internet Protocol version 4. You can double click on that. And it's the same concept if you go to your Wi-Fi as well. Uh, and you're going to click on properties. So mine's already pre-filled. Now let's uh, talk a little bit about this. Okay, so I want to talk about the Wi-Fi first. So if you're connecting to your own home network, cool. This is where you can, you know, modify your things. If you're connecting to a public Wi-Fi, to your friend's Wi-Fi, they're not going to have the same IP settings as your home Wi-Fi. Um, they might and they might not. And if they don't, you're just going to have it as obtain an IP address automatically and obtain a DNS server automatically, then click OK, then you'll be able to connect to their Wi-Fi. All right. Now to set up that st um, static IP address. So you're going to click on the bubble where it says use the following IP addresses. Then they'll say IP address, then 192.168.1.51. Yours might say something else. It might say 192.168.0. something. Um, whatever it is, the first three blocks that we're going to worry about is the 192.168.1. Then after that point, you're going to give yourself a unique number. I strongly suggest anything above 150 to 245, or 254, excuse me. So that's something that's more unique you don't have 200 devices connecting to your uh, modem so that's where i keep a high range number like that so other devices don't have that ip conflict so as i said um 254 or 248 just have something like that next thing um so you might have the 10.0.0. something.10 or 11, doesn't matter. Um, just follow the same structure. So 10, 0, 0, 
the unique number or one nine two one six eight zero the unique number subnet class this will always be your 255.255.255.0. It's a subnet um, IP uh, class C IP addressing. So it'll be 255.255.255.0. Um, we'll move on to the next default gateway. So it'll be it'll always be the 192.168.1.1. Um, you're gonna follow that default gateway number and you can put it in there so yours might say um, 10.0.0.1 or 192.168.0 then point one follow what your default gateway is now you do the same concept for the default gateway into the preferred DNS 192.168.0 um, 1.1 or 10.0.0.1 so on and so forth so you get that concept now you click OK and you hit OK again I just closed out of mine because I already have it pre-filled um, now if you type in IP config then you'll see that you have manually set up that IP address and it'll always remain that. So every time you your um every time you put up the computer, it'll always be that number. Um if you did it with it automatically, it might be the same number, but sometimes it'll actually change and that's where you'll be like, Oh my goodness, I'm so done port forwardy to the number. So this is a simple solution. Next to the actual port forwarding. So you want to port for the 27015, 27005 through 27006. Note, we're not all going to have the same router. Um, mine's a modded router. So let me actually go to it, 192.168. See, mine's a modded router. Um, to get your specific router, go to Google, type in... Who, who's the make of it? It might be uh, Linksys, Netgear, TP-Link, D-Link. Um, whoever made it, type in the manufacturer name, then type in how to port forward. But for me, mine's the DDWRT, so I'll just give you a little fill for something like that. Um, it says protocol. It gives you the option of TCP and UDP. I just click both. Then uh, 27015, then to the IP address, which is the one that we just set up. Um, then the ending to the port, so it's asking for that range. Uh, but if you don't have a range, then just end it with the 27015. Now, as for the second one, the uh, 27005 through 27006, that is a range. So go ahead and do the 27005 through 27006. So we don't have to do the um, 27006 on the bottom of here and 27006. We can just do it in that range. So go ahead and save, apply. Then that's it. That is how you port forward and how to manually set up a static IP address. So this is specifically for the Gary's Mod server, but universally, ideally, you can use this for any other concept of any other gaming server or web hosting server so on and so forth all right i'm gonna go ahead and end this video if you guys like the video please give it a thumbs up um share subscribe um, there's a discord channel below so join it come talk to us we're very social and we like to play video games but for the love of god do not ask us how to do any of these things i mean maybe maybe if you catch me on a good day i'll answer all your questions but no, seriously, I'll answer all your questions. Anyways, go ahead and uh, join our Discord. Peace out, guys.